Hello, good viewers. Welcome back once again. Today we have a very nice quantic equation. m to the power of 5 equals 9m. And here we're going to find all possible values of m. Let's get started. We have m to the power of 5. This is equal to 9m. Now let's move the term from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we have m to the power of 5 minus 9m, this is equal to 0. So from here, let's go ahead and factor out m. So we have m into brackets, m to the power of 4 minus 9, this is equal to 0, right? So from here, we have m is equal to 0, or from here, we have m to the power of 4 minus 9, this is equal to 0. So here we have a solution for m, which is 0. And that satisfies the equation. Now, let's solve for the other roots of the given equation from this quartic equation. So, now the idea here is to rewrite the left-hand side of this equation. m to the power of 4 is same as m squared squared minus here 9 is the same as 3 squared and this is equal to 0. So, you know why m to the power of 4 is same as m squared, then in bracket squared? If you recall the property, a to the power of b raised power of c, this is same as a to the power of b times c. So, from here, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, right? So, using this property, we can actually rewrite m to the power of 4 as in bracket m squared, then squared, right? Okay, now from here, we'll be making use of the difference of two squares formula. Recall that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So from here, make use of this difference of two squares formula. We get m squared plus 3 multiplied by m squared minus 3. And this is equal to 0. So from here, again, this implies that m squared plus 3 is equal to 0, or we have m squared minus 3, this is equal to 0. So from here, we're going to solve for m. m squared is equal to 0 minus 3, will give us negative 3. So from here, we take root of both sides, we get m is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 3. So here, m is equal to plus or minus, remember square root of negative 1 is i, right, then root 3. Then from this equation here, m squared is equal to 0 plus 3, which is 3. So take root of both sides, we get m is equal to plus or minus root 3. So we can see that we have three real solutions, right? So here we have the real solutions. So we have m is equal to 0. We have m is equal to plus or minus root of 3, right? Then we have imaginary solutions, right? And we have two imaginary solutions. That is m is equal to plus or minus i root 3. And these are the solutions. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.